the first time going to the falls. The grandeur of the waterfall and the colors of it was absolutely incredible. I feel like you can't really only study biology in a lab and you have to get out and see it and touch it and, and be in it to really understand what life is about. I think it's a great opportunity and I would do it again in a heartbeat. It's just like so incredible and you like can't believe that like this is a place you actually get to go in your life. Like, like, how lucky is that? I think there are very few classes out there that change how you learn and how you study and how you think um, as a student. And I think frequently it's more about learning it and spitting it out or learning it and using it later. But I learned more about myself as a scientist and an artist than I, I think I ever have in my life. For, I think, 97% of us coming to um, Guyana, coming to South America and doing this type of work is, is very new and to experience that with a group of people, I don't think anything could, can bring you closer than something like that. And that's the beauty of applying something like dance to biology, is all of a sudden like you realize the, the kind of tension and the forces and the and the okay. physics that, so you know, that is required for certain biological relationships to happen, and you get to do it yourself. This is so cool. This is your first catfish, and you got a really good one. Oh, that's so cool. What I did learn, I think I'll remember for a lot longer because I interacted with it. Stretching out, stretch out, stretch out, that's it. Let's go. That's it. Oh. Being in Diana just made me learn and think about things in a completely different way. Everything, not just climate change, not just global warming, and not just the continuum between art and science, but everything. I would do this again, that's my personal statement, without a doubt.